Hey, welcome back. Nice to have everybody back today. My name is Vicki Lynn and you're here with Cooking Vegan with Vicki. This is a safe place for vegans and non-vegans. We're just here to share some great recipes and just to show everybody how easy it is to cook and eat vegan. So today, I know everybody's been asking, we just finished having chili and a few of our other recipes. So now everybody's saying, what are we going to have for dessert? Well, this is what we're going to have for dessert. We're going to have brownies. That's right brownies fudgy chewy brownies and how are we going to make them mystery ingredient you'll never guess black beans so i've added a can of black beans to my food processor drain them rinse them and i'm just going to break them down just a little bit just to make everything a little bit easier to and then to that how are we going to make them gluten-free, we're going to use quinoa flour. So I have a quarter of a cup of quinoa flour. I'm going to add it into the food processor. And this recipe is pretty well a dump in blend kind of recipe, super easy. We're going to um, add a quarter of a cup of almond butter. There we go. Now this isn't sponsored, but this is a um, Pampered Chef measuring cup and it is lovely because you can put all your sticky stuff in there and just push it out and it's clean. We're going to add that. Then we're going to add a teaspoon of salt. So now this recipe is, I'm going to, I'm going to change it up just a little bit and you can do this. Sometimes I put in um, coffee, espresso coffee, instant coffee. Today I'm actually going to put a little bit of cinnamon in here. Um, just to change it up a little bit. Um, two tablespoons of flax flour. So this is flax seed that's ground up. It's called flax flour. Vegans use this and chia seeds a lot to mimic an egg. So when we're cooking things we, and we want an egg, this is what we're going to put in. Okay, so we have two tablespoons. So now if you wanted it to be like an egg replacer, you would mix one tablespoon of flax flour with either two to three tablespoons of water. Let it sit. It kind of gets a little jelly and that's what makes everything stick together. Okay, so we have our quinoa flour in here. We have our black bean flour in here. I've put in two tablespoons of flax flour. I'm putting in six tablespoons of uh, raw cacao powder. You could use cocoa powder. This gives it a really good depth of flavor. I'm also gonna put in a cup of sugar. Now I'm using um, pure cane sugar. I usually use coconut sugar, but I, didn't, I don't have any at this moment time, so we're just going to, that was pretty easy. And we're going to put in a teaspoon of baking soda. Sorry, half a teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Two teaspoons of vanilla. The cap is usually one teaspoon. Fun fact. There we go. Super easy. And then I'm just going to put in, say, half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of cinnamon just to give it a little depth of flavor. And again, I like to switch it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this up now. And it's going to be loud, sorry. I'm going to scrape down the sides a little bit. And there's one more ingredient that you would think doesn't go in here, but it does. And that ingredient is actually balsamic vinegar. So we're gonna put in two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. i uh, sorry, two, two, two teaspoons of balsamic vinegar. And this is just going to react and uh, make them, make your brownies puff up. So they're gonna be really good that way, okay?
And because it's really thick, I'm going to add a little bit of water as I'm, I'm processing it. Okay. Wow, that looks really good, guys. I don't know if you can see it. Looks like brownie mix. So we're gonna put it into our prepared pan. Now you can use, I'm using an eight inch here. You can use a nine inch. I put just one roll of parchment paper just to help it make it easier to take it out. You can use a nine inch pan. Your brownies will be a little bit thinner. I kind of like them really kind of thick and chewy. So that's why I'm doing it this way. And I'm gonna add some walnuts. We're just gonna add the walnuts in. That's about a quarter of a cup of chopped walnuts. And again, I make these different ways every time. Once you have the base recipe, you can add, subtract. I've done them with chocolate chips, without chocolate chips, nuts, no nuts. Um, macadamia nuts are really good in this. Okay, we're just gonna put this in our pan and we're gonna spread it out. And then in a 350 degree oven. Now it will depend on what size of a pan that you're using. So if you're using the eight inch, it's probably gonna be 25 to 30 minutes. Um, if you're using the nine inch pan, it'll probably be about 25 minutes. But again, everybody's oven is different. So make sure you're just keeping an eye on it. And you can tell when it's almost ready because it's pulling away from the sides. Okay, easy peasy. So I make these all the time. I take them to work. Everybody likes them at work. Um, and nobody has ever known that there's black beans in here, <sighs> which I think is fabulous because with the quinoa, the quinoa flour and the beans, you're getting a nice little boost of protein you know, everybody's always asking us, where do you get your protein from? There are so many sources of protein on a vegan diet. All your greens have proteins, all your beans, your potatoes, everything has. Why do you think animals eat them? There we go. Okay, so now we're just gonna spread this out in our pan. Have it all over myself, but that's okay. Where? All right. And then just to top it off, I'm gonna put some whole walnuts or half walnuts, just to make it look pretty. This is gonna be a great snack for after our chili. So you can burn your mouth off with the chili and then soothe it with some great black bean brownies. Okay. So in the oven it goes. So there you go. These are the fudgy black bean brownies. Mine cooked in about 25 minutes. Hope you enjoy. See you soon. Bye.